Welcome to ACAT County Extension's 2020 Summer Explorations Session 1 video on how to do our iron-on wooden sign. This workshop idea comes from a little craft in your day. As you complete your project, you may want to pause or replay this video to rewatch. Let's get started. So in your kit, um, we're going to talk a little bit about the supplies that you will receive. In each kit, you will receive a wood slab. Remember, your wood slabs are about 9 to 12 inches and they are gonna vary. So there is no right or wrong way or right or wrong side to attach your vinyl to. You will also receive your piece of iron on vinyl with your clear front and your black back. Um, you can use, we used a Cricut tool, but you can use a paper clip or anything that has a sharp edge um, to um, pull out the little pieces if you need. And then um, what will not be included in the kit is an iron and we also encourage using a um, light towel or piece of fabric or something that you can put between your iron and your iron-on so that way your plastic doesn't get too warm and start to curl and mess up your design. All right, so first what you're gonna do is you're going to peel the outer layer of your design off. So this is when that paper clip that I talked about might come in kind of handy. You're going to very carefully peel up a corner and start to peel. Now be careful. You want to make sure you're not pulling up any of your letters. You just want to pull off your outside layer. And this clear part is going to be a little bit sticky to later for later to help it attach to your project. Okay, so then once you have your outside off, you're going to use a paper clip like we talked about or something you can go in and poke and peel out all of your centers of your letters and the centers in between your pictures and all those other little spaces that need to come out yet. Right, and then when you think it all is done, you turn it around and look at it and make sure you're not missing any of the little pieces and that it all looks good. And then now you're gonna be able to see and place it correctly on your board. Reminder, there is no right or wrong way um, in the direction that you choose to put um, your iron on on your board. I'm gonna choose to go horizontal. because my sticker just fits on there a little bit better. And I did roughly pre-mark out before kind of where I thought maybe it would fit well. And now that I have the outsides off, I can kind of adjust. It's a little bit easier to see. Okay, once you have your spot picked out, um, you're gonna use your iron. Remember to ask a parent if you need help, um, but now we're not going to set the iron straight on the plastic. We're going to cover it up with a towel. You can use a towel, a piece of fabric, or anything, just to create a little bit of a barrier. Now remember, we're going to press down. We're not going to move the iron too much because otherwise that's going to move 
your decal around. And we're not gonna use any moisture in our iron, just straight heat. And we're just gonna press and hold for a few seconds and slowly move back and forth across your design. All right, so now we're gonna check and see how we're coming. So pick a corner and just kind of start to peel and see how here, it's not quite stuck down yet. I'm gonna check all my corners. Some of it's stuck down, some of it's not. So um, if your iron's not up high enough, that might be part of your problem. Otherwise, we're gonna go back and we're just gonna keep applying more heat. Again, we're pulling slowly this time. I'm going to start from the bottom. My M is not quite stuck down yet. And a reminder, as you're working through your project, if you're going to take it to the fair, um, you can talk a little bit about what you're going to put in your goal sheet. Reminder that these wood discs have a very smooth surface. And so you're going to talk a little bit about texture and how your iron-on vinyl is not going to stick to a non-smooth surface or a surface that already has stain um, or paint on it. So it needs to be a clean, smooth surface. And also, we're gonna keep in mind balance. Um, you're not going to place your design off to one side, you want it to be evenly balanced and proportioned. So, now it looks good, it looks like everything, I kinda run my finger over it to make sure everything is stuck down the way we want it to be here. My M is a little bit off yet, so I'm gonna just stick this plastic piece just back down again. It doesn't have to be exactly where it was before. I'm gonna work on this M just a little bit more. And again, remember, judges like to know if you've made mistakes. They like when you learn from your mistakes. So if something doesn't turn out quite right, that's all right. Um, explain to the judge why you don't think it turned out quite right or what you would do differently um, and how you can use it to improve on a project again. Again, our M is being stubborn. you have it, your finished iron-on wood slab sign. We are glad you're able to join us for this workshop. Please remember that example goal sheets can be found on our website if you plan on exhibiting at the fair. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us at the Hancock County Extension Office at 641-923-2856. Mm -hmm.